What's up guys, it's your boy Kazaris, back with another fun little deck profile, and today we have Metaphys. Um, now I was not really going to play Metaphys this week, um, however it was just put on the Dark Duel Links meta tier list, and I wanted to try it out. I also just got my second dimension, so I finally have all the cards to make a proper deck. Um, so I just wanted to try it out and showcase the deck to you guys. I like the playstyle, however it's very slow, so if you don't like slow control decks, it's probably not for you. Uh, but let me just explain how it works. So we're playing the skill Heavy Starter, which when you have three different level 5 or higher monsters with different names in your deck, you will always, you will be guaranteed to open one of them. So we have the two Daedalus here, the three Nephthys, and the two Tyrant Dragon. Now, we want to see one of these in our starting hand to be banished to get our engine going, so that's why we're playing Heavy Starter. And then in addition to those seven monsters, we're playing seven ways to banish them. So we have the three Aloof Lupine, the one Gold Sarcophagus, and then the one the three Ace and um, So Ace and Metaphys and Aloof Lupine are the best ones uh, because Aloof Lupine banishes two at a time, and Ace and Metaphys will give you a draw when you banish uh, Gold Sark. It still banishes, but that's all it does. It just banishes one, uh, and it's just not superior to the other two in any way. And Ace and Metaphys is searchable, which is a uh, which will be important. Um, so let me explain the monster effects. So Daedalus, whenever he's banished uh, during the following standby phase, so if you banish him on your turn during your opponent's standby phase, you can return him to the deck to banish another Metaphys um, from your deck. So you'll typically you'll be returning Daedalus and banishing Nephthys, so that on your turn, when it's passed back to you, Nephthys was banished during your opponent's turn, so then the following standby phase would be your turn, and then on your turn again, you can return the Nephthys to the deck to search any Metaphys card. So that can be either Ace of Metaphys, Metaphys Dimension, or one of your monsters up here. So very good. So so you have the 5, 7, so 12 out of your eight car, eight, 20 cards are searchable through Nephthys. Um, uh, you can't search, it can't search itself, but that's okay. Um, and then Tyrant Dragon, when it is banished during the next standby phase, you can return them to the deck to special summon a Metaphys monster from your hand. Um, so typically you want to be summoning himself um, because he's unaffected by trap effects and he can attack twice in a battle phase. Um, so he's the, like the boss monster of the deck, very good. However, the other two have effects that should not be overlooked. Um, when Nephthys is summoned by a Metaphys monster's effect, you can banish all set spell and trap cards on the field. That includes your own, so you want to make sure that your uh, Ace of Metaphys and Dimension are flipped face up so that you're immune to that. And then when Daedalus is special summoned, you can banish all other face up special summoned monsters on the field. That includes yourself, however, typically you only special summon one monster at a time. Um, but he's very good. He can clear entire six samurai fields. Um, he can clear entire Neos fields. He can clear uh, entire blue eyes fields. He's just a very solid card overall. Um, but Nephthys is the best one. That's why, that's why you're playing three of it. So uh, your supplemental cards are Treacherous Trap Hole and Sphere Creepo. Treacherous Trap Hole is just very good. I'm not going to play it since it's still a two. Or I'm not going to not play it since it's still a two. If it's still legal, it's going to be in my deck whenever I can. Um, and then dim Dimension's a continuous trap, so you don't have to worry about these two um, conflicting with each other. It's because Dimension will be face up on the field the majority of the time. And then two Sphere Kribo is just a ca good card to draw into off of Ace and Metaphys. Especially since you're going to be having uh, two continuous spells in your zones all the time. So your backer is going to be kind of clogged, so you don't want to play a ton of backer on the deck because you're not going to be able to use utilize all of it. So you're just playing the two Sphere Kribo here as well. Um, so typically how this deck is going to go is on your turn, you're going to do something like activate Aloof Lupine and then banish either Daedalus or Nephthys from your hand and then banish the other the counterpart from your deck, whatever you didn't banish from your hand. And then on the following turn, it will always your monster effects will always trigger in this order. Daedalus will activate first, Nephthys will activate second, Tyrant Dragon will activate third. No matter what, if you didn't banish Tyrant Dragon, it'll just go Daedalus and Nephthys. If you didn't banish Daedalus, it'll just go Nephthys, Tyrant Dragon, etc. Um, so Daedalus will always return itself to the deck to banish something else. In this case, it will be another Nephthys, so that you can get a search on the turn after that one. And then you will return ne Nephthys to the deck to search one of these um, spell or traps, whatever you're missing. Or if you're missing both, you just want to search Ace and Metaphys first. And then on the following turn, you want to search either A, Dimension, or B, another Metaphys monster, so if you don't have one, so that you can keep banishing to fuel your plays. And if you're not following, it'll be... I'll, I'll, I'll make sure you you're able to visualize it and I'll showcase the plays. Um, but you want to see these spell or trap cards so that you can get your plays going, can keep banishing every single turn. And then when when you have Dimension on the field, 
You want to be banishing Daedalus on your turn, and then banishing a card your opponent controls, and then on the next turn, Daedalus will return itself to the deck and banish something else, so then Dimension can banish another card. And that's how you're going to be gaining, overwhelming your, your, your opponent with the card advantage, because you're going to be uh, searching cards, drawing cards, banishing their cards every single turn, and then it'll just snowball and snowball and snowball until you get to the point where they have two cards and you have like ten, and then they're, they're just like staring at their field like, how did it get to this point? Um, but let's get into some duels and showcase you guys the deck. So we're going to be against Yusei Fudo. Probably six samurai with ties that bind. Very, very good hand. Very good hand. Dun, 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 dun. I love this music. I love the bass. Dojo United, just like I said. Inishi, Dojo, Summon Fumo. You need to make sure you are managing your Bushido counters correctly, so if he's smart, he will use United before he summons Sheehan. Because if he draws into another United or another Dojo, okay, good, he's smart. He's going to want to get that Bushido counter when he summons Sheehan. Um, you're losing out on your resources when you don't manage your Bushido counters correctly. Now he has... He has Shien and Ishii. Um. Okay, thankfully Aloof Lupine activates on normal summon, so whether or not he bounces, we'll be able to banish and get the ball rolling here. Power of the Guardians? Are you kidding me? What is this? That hand is insane. Dual wield, Power of the Guardians, and Ishii Shien. Okay. Okay, so... We want to Let's think, boys. Um, that Anishi was normal summoned. So we want to use a Loof Lupine. Okay, so uh, there's no delay, so it's definitely dual wield. We want to banish. We want to banish the Tyrant Dragon from our hand and a Nephthys from our deck. Like I was saying before, it'll trigger Nephthys first, it'll be able to search Daedalus, and then Tyrant Dragon will activate. Why is he banned? What, what the fuck? Tyrant Dragon will be, act be able to activate and special summon Daedalus from hand. I don't know why he's bouncing here, that's dumb. Um, you're going to banish. We banished Tyrant Dragon from our hand. Okay, so we're banishing Nephthys from a deck. Um. Set. Gonna set both. I don't want to activate the Ace of Metaphys because he's just gonna negate it. Uh, but yeah. So this is how we're making use. Oh, Cyclone in the face. What's he hitting? All right, Dimension. That's fine. It was just gonna get negated anyway. And we have a that, and that's why we play two. So Nephthys effect. And all of a sudden we're in the lead. Add Net Daedalus to hand. Tyrant Dragon effect. Special Daedalus from hand. Power of the Guardians is no more. And neither is his Sheehan. Bye bye. Now he has an Anishi with no bounce because he bounced a Loof Lupine for some god forsaken reason. And now he has one card in hand. So. There's nothing he can do. He's going to summon Kazaru. Sure. Tie that binds. Sure. No suicide, my dude. And we still have the loop lupine again because he's he bounced it to our hand or whatever. All right. Bad samurai players. That's okay. Loop lupine banish. Banish Daedalus. Activate Ace of Metaphys. Uh, we can activate more than one Nephthys per turn, so I'm going to banish this here, going to draw. Pretty decent. Reduce everything by 500 and just crash these two. Um, so, yeah, I just got to draw, and now Loof Lupine will be able to add one of the Nephthys back to our hand. So, that's fine. Just got some advantage back. Daedalus will banish itself because uh, Tyrant Dragon reads you can special summon it from your hand, but during the end of the, n during the, end of the next turn after it's summoned. 
you will banish it. So he summoned it on our opponent's turn, and we had to banish it on our turn again. That's okay, because it helped trigger. It says draw phase, he draws one card. I still have 4,000 life points. Activate Daedalus. Banish Ineptus. Okay, Cyclone, sure. Let's game. We're gonna banish a uh, Tyrant Dragon off of one of these effects. Banishing Neftus. Daedalus return to deck. Banish the Tyrant Dragon. And Neftus return to deck. Search an Ace and Metaphys. Doesn't matter. Then ends his turn. Our turn again. Return Tyrant Dragon to deck. Special Tyrant Dragon from our hand. And attack for game. Sorry. This deck is tiered now, but I feel like a ton of people still don't know what it does or how to play against it. So I cut uh, this deck, this video is just kind of an informative video to sh showcase the deck for you guys because I feel like it's underrepresented for sure. Um, I'm going to search Dimension, Tyrant Dragon, Special Tyrant Dragon, Bada Bing. And we're just going to mess with him. It's not surrendering, so I'm just going to play it out. Vanish, draw the card. Set and attack for game. Cool, cool. So we had five cards, he had zero, and that's how this deck overwhelms our opponent. Granted, he played poorly, um, but like once we broke his setup of guardians, um, of a uh, power of the guardians on a Xi'an, that was just kind of a piece of cake from there. Especially since he only had cyclone set. I thought it was like a dual wield, but I was worried for nothing. So yeah, let's do another one. Jesse Anderson. Going second, not ideal. It's a control deck, we want to go first. Um, this might be Aliens. Oh, it's Grit, never mind. It's probably Cyber Angels, actually, if he's playing Grit. Yeah, that's a real threat. Very good hand. Wow, this hand is ridiculous. Um, so if it's Cyber Angels, he's going first. He doesn't want to commit anything. So going second actually kind of worked out for us a little bit. So we're going to banish this. Banish Daedalus, Banish Nephthys, standard stuff. Um, I'm going to smack him for 17. Alright. I'm going to Daedalus effect, return to the deck. We don't want to chain the dimension here, no reason to. Banishing Nephthys again to give us a search on the following turn. Nephthys effect, return to the deck. Search a Daedalus. Keep it simple. And now we'll be able to do the standard banish, double, double banish of Daedalus again to banish two cards with our dimension. So yeah, so CA, just like I said, we have the Sphere Creep and absolutely nothing to worry about. Now if he does a Zana, we're going to have to send the dimension to Grave, which is unfortunate, but we can just get another one right back with our Nephthys. We have the Sphere Creep so we can probably prevent ourselves from game. Then we can play around the Machine Angel Ritual protection by just banishing with Dimension. Or we can just summon Daedalus off of a Tyrant Dragon, banish this whole field. So. Gishki, so if you haven't watched my Cyber Angel video, the one I just pre previously put out, um, Gishki Chain is garbage in the deck. It's not garbage, but it's just not. It's, it is not, it's not a replacement for Senju at all. He got extremely lucky with the Edithin reveal there, but he... Okay, I'm confused. Um, I am very confused. He attributed Edithin with no ritual monsters on the field. That was a desperation, merciful machine angel if I've ever seen it. Um, going to search again with Nephthys. Now we have... Um, no reason to search Dimension. He didn't send it to the graveyard. So I'm just going to search a Tyrant Dragon here. I'm going to activate Metaphys Dimension. Because now we're going to play Ace and Metafish. Metafis, excuse me. Banish the Daedalus. Banish his Gishki Chain. Some good stuff. And now we want to Gold Sark and banish Nephthys. Keep our advantage up. Keep it slowly rolling in turn by turn. And we're going to pass it over. We couldn't kill him. It's a slow deck, guys. You gotta be patient. If you don't have patience. You really cannot play this deck. Um, going to add. I'm oh, sorry, we're going to banish another Nephthys. 
keep the searches coming turn by turn. Um, yes, we're going to activate Nephthys, return to deck, search another Daedalus. <clears throat> so he's playing Sire Angels, so he's got to think about his plays for a little bit. He's going to Machine Angel Absolute Ritual. That's cool. So he's going to return Eda Tin to deck. Why? What? What is. Okay. He's summoning Ben 10 in defense. I have no idea what's happening. Guys, I have no idea what's happening. I'm sorry. Sorry about this garbage gameplay. But. Good shit. Good showcase of the deck. Um, yes. I guess I'll just search another tire dragon. I don't know. Okay, so now we get to the point where like we just we have so many resources that I don't know what to banish. Uh, so I'm just going to banish a tire dragon so that we can go for the kill on the next turn. I'm going to set to the. Treacherous Trap Hole. Now Tyrant Dragon's going to summon Tyrant Dragon. Get this cycle going. And now, once this if this Tyrant Dragon isn't dealt with and it gets banished at my next end phase, then on the following standby phase, I'll be able to return it to deck some of the Daedalus from my hand. Uh, but he's just going to let me attack for game. Cool. Alright, so that was easy. I don't know what this Tyrant Dragon player was doing. Cyber Angel, not Cyber Dragon. Sato Kaiba. I hope it's Blue Eyes. I want to show Daedalus banishing a whole field of Blue Eyes. That would be neat. Neato. That'd be Starter. Pretty decent. Going to be able to Metaphys effect. Ace and Metaphys banish a draw. And search. And Gold Sark effect. Banish Daedalus to search twice. And we have a Sphere Creep, so I'm just going to pass it over. Um, Daedalus effect. Um, if he commits to the... Oh, I'm, i got to make a read here. So if he commits to the field thinking he can kill me because he's playing blue eyes. That's a, hard, a ton of hard calls. He commits to the field because he th thinks he can kill me because he's playing blue eyes. Need to banish Tyrant Dragon here so that I can special summon Daedalus from my hand and clear his field. Um, so I think Tyrant Dragon is the correct banish here. Metaphys will return to deck. I'm going to search the dimension regardless. Dimension is still a good search here. I'm going to make the hard read on that. So let's see. So I'm going to see Cosmo Brain into Snipe Hunter. Maybe. Cosmo Brain into. Okay, so there's Protector. Send a Grave. Or Specialing Stone from hand. Neat. Yeah, that was a good read. So protector, send Stone, special Blue Eyes Spirit from hand. Dragon Spirit of White, I mean. Um, now he's got a Synchro here, or what's he gonna do? He only hits 3600. Does he have Cosmo Brain in his hand? He's gonna synchro, okay, for Cloud Cat or Gigantic Castle, excuse me. Um, now what? Silver Sky. <laughs> nice. What did I tell you, boys? This is gonna be a beauty. This is gonna be like a Black Rose play. It's disgusting. Oh my god. Beat down. Attack, I'll take 31, and I'll survive 37. Cool, cool. And stone summon an end phase. That was a good read, boys. That was a good read. Not even gonna lie. I'm proud of that one. Stone. Blue eyes. Yes, sir. Tyrant dragon effect. Bing. Bye. Set. 
Now when it gets banished at his end phase, I can dimension as well, and then banish something he controls. Wow, that was well played. Set stone. Get to banish the stone. Ooh. Miss, 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 miss. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm just going to chain this. Why not? We'll see. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, yes. 33% chance to win right there. And he can't stone effect either because I banished all of his blue eyes. And now he banished the snipe hunter. Oh, my God. That was clutch, boys. That was lit. Daedalus effect. I mean, technically we can still lose, he can still top deck something. <laughs> but that was scary. Uh oh. Yeah, he can't use stone effect. Uh oh. Don't top deck another snipe hunter, please. Can't lose the protector, can't lose the stone direct. We can lose can't lose the silver scry. There's a lot of stuff we can't lose to. Um I'm adding Daedalus to my hand. This is this, that's the thing about this deck. Like it does a lot of setup, but you need to position yourself properly to kill your opponent. Um, he's just gonna pass. Okay. Oh, top deck to Loof. Beautiful. Beautiful. Loof effect. Banish. Banish. Attack for game. All right, that was a good top deck. All right, that was beautiful, boys. Whew. Played that one perfectly. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that's going to be it for this video. A lot of, uh, Several longer games, so uh, I want to keep it on the fewer game side. Um, but I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.